You know, we're here at the, on the campus of the University of Texas at Austin, and we're pretty proud of a slogan that we have here. What starts here changes the world. You've all heard this, but what I want you to do is take a fresh look. Because what I've learned is embedded within this slogan, which has a powerful message in its own right, is even a more powerful set of messages. So for example, let's just look at the first part. What starts here? Question mark. I think you know the answer. You. You and your future starts here. That's what the college experience is all about. But it's a really difficult challenge, and all of you going through this understand it. Well, let me tell you about the paradox that I see of being a college student today. What we see is that more and more, college students approach the university for the first time wanting fewer and fewer different choices in terms of majors. And to be admitted, you have to almost get guaranteed that you're going to get that choice coming out of high school. For example, these are the five most commonly chosen majors for students trying to get into the university. What's the paradox? Once on campus, students in increasing numbers are looking for things other than what they thought they wanted. And we're seeing these trends shaping the college experience. Is this a bad thing? No, this is not a bad thing. The good news, and probably the reason for this paradox, is because of all the opportunities you actually have at a major university. So what I want you to do is keep your eyes on those majors that are listed up at the top while I switch the slide. Instead of just five, this is how many choices you have. And this explains that apparent paradox that I was talking about, because you find out the world is a much more complicated place. That's a good thing. But here's your mission. When you hit a college campus, a university campus, what you need to do is figure out who you are. That's not easy. What you should do is you should take advantage of the resources that exist to help you do that. So for example, at this university, we have the Vic Center for Strategic Advising that has career counselors, and it's just what it says. That's for all students. If you have a question in your own mind about what it is you want to do, take advantage of that. Don't be passive and assume that it's going to come to you. You need to think about exploring not only inside the classroom, but outside the classroom. If you think about maybe you want a career in science, get involved with research. If you want to be involved in other types of industries, go intern, find out what it's like. If you want to be a doctor, volunteer in a doctor's office. Take an active role in figuring out who you are and what you like, because you have all of these choices. You may have come in thinking that you're fitting in one of those five little boxes, and those are great boxes, by the way, but you might also have then discovered that there are so many more choices how do you figure it all out? Well, take an active role in figuring that out. Explore before you decide. OK, so what starts here? You and your future. Choose wisely. Let's go back. If we add just one more word, I think there is a second very powerful message in our slogan. What starts here? changes. I think you know this, you've probably heard it, but experts predict, as opposed to my generation, you're probably going to change careers. I didn't say jobs, I said careers. Probably more than once, but let's just say at least once. More than that, I think you'll agree with me that your last career probably hasn't even been invented yet. I'm not going to bore you with all the different jobs that you're thinking about that the industry didn't even exist when I was your age. We couldn't have possibly predicted it. So put on top of all of this choosing, you've got this uncertainty. So what do you do? What I want to try to convince you today is that you want to prepare yourself to be flexible and nimble. What you're going to have to do is figure out where things are going before everyone else does and get there. 
So how do you do that? I think you should be thinking about educational breadth as well as that next step, that first career, that you're pretty sure you may want. So after you've gone through this process of choosing, think also about how to make yourself as flexible as possible by thinking about choosing courses, choosing experiences that are going to broaden your horizons. So be ready for change by pursuing a broad education. That's not something you hear a lot, but I want you to be thinking about it because that's your future that we're talking about, one built on change. Consider adding breadth and individuality, and I'm just going to throw out a suggestion. Think about adding a minor or a certificate. You've got electives. Turn that into something powerful, not just check boxes. So for example, at the university, we have 169 minors. We have 39 certificates. So I'm going to do a little math for you. If you pick one major and one minor or certificate, how many possible combinations do you think you could possibly choose at this university? 35,000. Don't limit yourself. Give yourself the best chance that you're going to have to be successful in a changing world, in changing careers. Think about how to create an experience that's very broad in terms of your education. The University of Texas at Austin, our great slogan, can be broken down in a variety of individual pieces, which I think are just as powerful as the whole. What starts here, it's going to change. You're going to change. Your careers are going to change. Be ready for change by pursuing a broad education. And embrace change when it comes. That's what this world is all about now. And that's the best part of it. Don't resist it. Embrace it. You and your future start here. So choose wisely. Thank you.